Hi guys, Todd here. Today I'm going to do a video for a company called BB Viking Mods. Uh, the guy that's behind this company is called Sasha and uh, I I was probably meant to do this quite some time ago. In fact, he actually sent me a mod on about a year ago that I did show off in a vlog. It was a 3D printed Ali made one and, and this is it here. I still have it to this day and I still use it. Uh, but he now does uh, pretty much the same mod but it is like a hybrid stabilized resin mod and it's got a CA coat finish on it and it's very very pretty and there is a story that goes with this but I'll I'll tell you that as we go along. But he did send it on as a gift uh, but I felt that it was only fair that I showed this mod off to you because the finish on it is actually stunning. So we'll have some close-ups. Here we go. Now this mod came in, a, I think it's like a little hessian sack and uh, it's beautifully presented. So it came inside that and then inside there we had a box with uh, the BB Viking logo on it. Very pretty. And then you open that again and then there's another sack uh, and inside there you're going to find the mod. Now I'll just take this out and we'll just let you see this. I'll get all the bits and bobs off. So here we go. Now this is a, a mechanical squonker. Now this was originally intended to be a MOSFET. Uh, it was going to be shorter. If it was going to be mechanical it would have been a shorter mod but because it was intended to be a MOSFET it was made to a certain height. Uh, unfortunately the guy that was going to be doing the wiring for him there was an issue there so Sasha had the bodies so he decided to just go ahead and make them as mechanical mods. Now if I take the door off here Bump like this. You can see that we've got magnets here that are going to stick to your battery and there's also little magnets going around the door here see them there and they stick here and here but you know this sticks firmly onto your you know your battery as well inside you're going to find one of your little square bottles now you do get two of these uh, the other one is uh, full of juice right now but uh, I'll pull that out getting the bottle out is is not a problem so that just comes out like that and that holds a fierce scalp of juice this thing and then you can see that we've got the uh, silver contacts uh, going on here now this is it's quite strange in that the, the way this is done, it's very different. Uh, it is the same setup that he did use on this squonker as well. But basically your contact just sits in there like that. You're going to take your battery, going to, I'm just going to put this positive uh, up, no positive down, sorry, positive down, goes in like that. And hopefully you can see that when I push this fire button down here, see this contact here? That's it making contact. And that's how she fires. So it's it's quite simple, but it, it does make the mod a little bit taller for me. And uh, you know, once you have your bottle in there, so I'll just take this, that goes in easy enough. That's gonna sit in there. Take my door, pop her on, and there we go. Now, the fact that the, the window is exposed all the way around makes this a very, very comfortable mod to squonk with. Uh, firing button, you can adjust that contact if you want. What you can do is you can just bend it up or down a little bit and so you can then adjust the throw that you have here. We have a, a Mod Maker 510 going on at the top and the standout feature for this has to be the wood, the finish. It's just... I don't know, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, it's a, a CA finish on it and it's done very, very well. And I'm, I, th I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I really do. And it's about 83 millimeters in height uh, and you're looking about 25 millimeters across the top here. Um, this, and once again, I forgot to say, this is actually a mod maker uh, button as well, but the fit and finish on it, it's done very, very well. Now there are a couple of negatives that I will point out later on and as we get to the summary at the end, but I'll fire an atty on this just now. So I've popped in the bottle that I've been using and uh, this is a sky fallen top uh, with one of the, the new top caps and the uh, beauty rings and this is actually 25 millimeters and you can see how that's sitting on there. It's just fitting in there and no more. There's no overhang going on there at all. 
Now I've adjusted this so that it's got quite a short throw on it and once again it's just by bending that little, just point it out there, that little tab just in there, just bent that a little bit and give this a little push here. So that's enough for the close-ups, I think we'll go back up top and I'll let you know what I think. Now, once again I just want to make clear that um, I know Sasha, uh, he, he's been quite good to me and that uh, you know he sent me this on for ages to, to check it out, uh, he's in my Facebook group and, and he's a nice lad and but I've still got to be honest on how I feel about the mod. Um, now, how do I feel about the mod? couple of things. There's two things that I'm not a fan of when it comes to squonking or mechanical squonkers and the first one is that plates and things like this are, are they're not held in place. They're not held in place so I can actually I can pop the battery out here just now. I can take it out and and, and this just comes out. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that. I never have. Um, I am. I must admit, I am quite critical of the Italians uh, because the Italians do that quite a lot with their mechanical squonkers. So I am going to list it as a, a negative for me. It's it's a it's a personal bugbear for me. Um, joking with Sasha, and he said <laughs> he said it's a feature. <laughs> it's a feature because you can actually slap this, if you slap it hard enough onto your hand then all the contacts, the battery and everything will just fall out into your hand. It doesn't do it when you're using it and vaping away with it but if you slap it then it will all come out and I just don't like that, I just don't like that. Uh, the other thing is that if I squonk, you see the door coming out there? I'm not a fan of that either. I mean I vape right handed so uh, I actually hold it like that, I have my hand on it and you know when I squonk I tend to have my thumb there and squonk like that and job done. The door doesn't come out on me because I'm, I'm holding it in place but it does it, it still does it, it does that thing and, and that bugs the living daylights out of me. There you go. So there, they are my two negatives with this mod. Uh, now it's 200 euros uh, plus shipping. You can only get it through a Facebook group and the run that he did, I think he only had 10 or 20 of these and a lot of them have gone. Uh, but I think there's a, a handful maybe left on his Facebook group. So if you are interested, the link will be in the description. Positives have to be the actual mod itself that it is beautifully finished I mean I mean I can't take that away from it 10 out of 10 on the finishing uh, there's not a blemish on this anywhere at all and it looks absolutely stunning um, top firer you can bend that contact plate so that you can you know dial that throw into however you want uh, the contact strips are they're pure 925 silver However, the, I would have preferred if he'd used the the silvered out kit from Modmaker as well. You know, he's got part silver going on there. I would have preferred it to be 100% silvered. So, yeah, it's less cleaning. But, um, quick vape. I've no issue with the performance as always the Modmaker 510 you know it's spring loaded uh, I can get a 25mm Atty on there with no overhang uh, that's it that's pretty much everything I've got for you um, I think it's a shame that he had that issue with the guy that was going to do his mods and make it a MOSFET uh, the fact that it's gone down the mechanical route yes it, it could have been shorter it could have been smaller but the mod was built to accommodate a MOSFET it's, but it's just a shame it didn't work out that way. Two niggles, two things I really don't like about any squonker are on this mod but it doesn't take away from the fact that I just think the finishing on it is superb. It's really really nice. I mean that is a beautiful beautiful bit of gear but I still have those niggles. 
It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter how much I like somebody. If you send something on, then at the end of the day, I have to be completely honest on how I feel about it. But um, there we go. So, Sasha, thank you once again for sending it on. To you guys, if you are interested, like I said, I think there's only a, a small handful of these left. They're 200 euros. They're on a Facebook group. Um, there's All the finishes are different. Uh, you can see them all actually on the Facebook group. But uh, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.